Hello folks, Farmer Envoy here, and this is going to be a guide to and everything you need to know about rock picking stones and that in the Farm Simulator 25. So rock picking, obviously at the moment we've got one piece of equipment available in game, and that's the rock picker. And yeah, so you find it under store stone pickers. We've got El Host Scorpio 550, 56 grand, 5.5 meter work width at 9 miles an hour. And yeah, the reason why you'll stone pick your field, so I've got a field here, filled with some large stones, as you can see. And yeah, we want to remove these because these will add wear and tear to your equipment as you're working these throughout the year and over the years and that in game. Of course, if they are small stones, small stones, you can roll them back into the ground. So yeah, let's go over this. So let's do a little demonstration. So unfold rock picker. And yeah, also in this video, I'm going to be showing you what to use these for afterwards and how you can get free stone in game. Fire a little like quarry like system in that. So yeah, turn this on. And of course, with the new GPS system in game, you can program the GPS. Helps if you actually lower said implement. So if we back up here a bit. There we go. Drop it down. And as you can see on the map, so I get the PD up. Go over to our soil composition. Stones are on, as you can see. We are got stones, and this will happen when you're using plows or even like the subsoils and that. So just be aware of that. These will bring up stones. Usually they'll bring up stones the first time around, small stones. But then, as you go over multiple horror spears, these will get bigger and bigger unless you actually deal with them. So there we go. We are rock picking. As you can see, you don't get too much from this small field here. Of course, depending on how much stones you get, will vary. So, let's put GPS on. Let's do three headlands, I say. So yeah, we're gonna get the worker to do the rock picking, and then we'll come back once we're done and see what to do with them afterwards. So, with the rock picking done, I am gonna quickly show you how to deal with these small stones. Now, because we have a look at our stones, we have got field 37, and this has got the small stones. So. As with Farm Simulator 22, if you have small stones, these can be rolled back into the ground. And we have a look on the PDA. Yeah, sort of see. Yep, small stones are going away. And this is a good thing because with stone picking that, as we'll see in a sec, even with those large stones from that small field we've done, we barely got a thousand years out of it. And even with these kind of larger fields and that, with small stones, you're going to get many stones out of it. However, there is a trick. You can use all these stones and that to have an infinite amount of stones and that. However, I ain't really need to go into that too much because there is a way in FS25 now, base game, without any mods and that, or custom maps, to get some free stone and that. So I'm going to go over that in a bit. Along with other ways you know you can get stones and that in the game so we tab over and that and there we go we got our stones and that so we got a thousand and eighty so with this or if you want to do a bit of role play you can use this for other things if you're doing a bit of a role playing storytelling but in terms of what the game offers and that so i didn't put it down so one thing we got is a production this is going to be the cement factory and this is going to be crucial now for some of the larger construction projects and just normal construction projects as they are however there is a debris crusher cell point so if we have a look here let's see we've got a little inky dinky cell point so if I drive over yeah we're barely half filled with the stone picker net of course down the road given I say by the time this comes out next year in 2025 I'm sure we're gonna have mods and that including some mod stone pickers and that and some better cell points and that, better productions and that for involving stones and that. But yeah, so if we back up here, so I'm not sure if it's going to let us do it here. Oh, here we go, R1 triangle. And we have a look. We can sell the stones. So yeah, just sold a couple of the years, and that's like 50 quid we got there. So doing this as a business on its own is not going to be worth it. However, these can be used for productions and that, so if we dump here, I'll go for that building in a sec. And there we go, so that is job done. So go to our productions tab, 
go down to oh, where is it to the cement factory. So you've got 700 liters of stones. And from here you can get cement brick, cement bags and roof plate. It's a thousand liters to either 125 or 180 liters. And yeah, these are going to be quite worth it. Because yeah, look at that. That's a, let's say, just for sake of argument, 10% reduction. Stones aren't really worth that too much. But if we go into our sales tab in that, so not going to be worth it. However, these can be used for productions in that. So if we dump here, I'll go for that building in a sec. And there we go. So that is... So yeah, just looking at the prices of stones, it's going to be worth about 150 quid per thousand liters. But even for like roof tiles and that, so if you go down to, or sorry, the roof plates, that is worth between 5,000 and 5,100. So let's just say 5,000 for the sake of argument. Best place to sell it is at the temple, which is a one of those construction projects. And trust me, that's going to take a fair bit of roof tiling and that, so... Or roof plates. I call it roof tiling, but it's roof plates and that. However, even go to the cement bricks and that. Cement bricks, that's worth about 4,800. Cement bags, 3,200 to 3,400. Even though the temple will take it at a premium price. Yes, this is on easy economy, so with the productions and that... I highly recommend doing this. However, you know, it's all good saying we get all this money in that, but how do you get stones that where you don't have many fields? Or, in general, if you have a bunch of fields, you don't get many large stones from it, so... There are two ways in the game at the moment. Of course, I'm going to be mods now that can let you expand on this, but there's two ways to get stones in that. And one is why here, the Debris Crusher production which is a basically a quarry or if you go over here except some of these rock picking contracts and that so it was part of silver run forest as part of the plant dlc in fs22 however i accepted to the contract and if memory serves me right you don't get much stone from this so if we you know, just pick away there we go just picking away and eventually this will all break up. And there we go, so that is some stones over there. And literally from all that, we got this small pile of stones. So what I do is let me do the rest of these red flags. And then I'll bring folks back once we're done. And we'll see how much we can get from this small rock picking contract. So, alright, rock picking is done, or the rock picking contract, and yeah, even though I haven't. Also, swear in FS22, you could have picked up these stones and then move them. However, in FS25, or at least, if I'm, again, if I'm mistaken wrong, but I'm sure in 22 you could have removed those stones and that yourself, so yeah, even if I go to our contracts and that, complete the contract. Yep, yeah, stones are just going to be back Yeah, back there again, that, so... Yeah, is it worth it? No, so... Forget about that. But now, go to the quarry, that, so... Let's look at the productions now, so... Obviously, the sell point is worth seven and a half grand. But if we go into the factories, and that, so go... Down here, so you've got your cement factory. 370 grand. Some maps will have them on already. I don't think is it Ruben Springs doesn't have one, but Hunton Pantai does this one have a cement factory or is it Riverman Springs that has it and this one doesn't? So that is stones going in and yeah, they're not dumping onto the ground. That's what I love to see. However, let's go and grab the trailer with or with the Orgo wagon. So yeah, this is one of the new and anti trays we've got in the game. But yeah, so just one thing to know, stones weigh a lot. Not as so much as lime. Lime's still the heaviest product in the game, but as you can see here, I've got a not a small tractor in that. And this does have some struggles with moving, so 
yeah, like it needs like more of a front weight. This dust because it just doesn't have the front traction. That so, yeah, user be aware. Again, down the road, I'm sure people like Mrs. Omatana is going to have to tar this stuff back in 25. I cannot wait for that. So, if we raise this up, I'm sure it's going to tip over here. So, if we have a look, action cannot be performed here. There we go. Yeah, it automatically sort of tips when you go over the correct trigger, Nat. But as you can see, zooms are in. Go back into our production. So now we say, you know, turn these on. And how much do they produce that? So 24, 24 cycles a month. So that is what? 1,250, 2,500 ish liters, 3,000 cement bags. So that is what? Let's just say, for the sake of argument, 2,500 liters you get a month. Remember, both these cost 460 grand or 470 grand back into the prices so things like the cement bricks net they were 5,000 so that is 10,000 12,500 so that's going to require many many years of production just from this alone to become viable and profitable so again a little note on that but again, I'm going to do a full guide to productions and that at some point. However, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do rock picking and stones in general. So, how do you get stones mainly from your fields? That from picking stones with the stone pickers and that. You can use the skisser tool and the whole rock picker there from the contracts, but. In 25, it seems you cannot do that anymore with collecting stones from the fields and that, or from the areas where you know you're. But, anyways, that is going to wrap up for this video. As always, if you find these helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form, if so, smash the like button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, just be former Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.